Hey everyone, so sorry, I have my thing over to the side so I'm going to be looking like I'm like shifty eyed because I keep looking over here to see what's on the screen. Um, so today is Tuesday, well it's technically Wednesday, but I didn't have time to make this on Tuesday. It is 12.14 in the morning on Wednesday, but we're, it's going to go up on Wednesday, so it was meant to be for Tuesday. So it's going to be called Totally Toy Tuesday. Um, and for now, it's going to be about vintage Lilith's Pet Shop. And I have a whole bunch of these from when I was little, and I have all the accessories except for one, which may have been lost during a move from when I moved from one city to the other when I was little. And I was devastated about it because I'm like that. Like, I remember when the Invincible, Michael Jackson Invincible CD came out, and I bought it, and then the case cracked so I almost went back and bought another one because I was so upset and I like things in pristine condition so I have a big tub like this filled with old Lilith's Pet Shop stuff um so the next couple weeks we're going to be going through my collection and you guys get to see this um like I have all of the pieces for each set so this is a really good I guess kind of look for people who may have not grown up with the original Lilith's Pet Shop to see what they're like. Most of these toys are in excellent condition so um, I'm really happy. I'm proud of myself from when I was a child because I took good care of my toys and I didn't let other people touch them. I didn't have a lot of friends. So we're going to start out with um, one of the first sets. It's the Sparkling Ponies from 1994. Um, this was one of my, I think this may have been the second one that I bought. I have all of these. Um, I loved horses when I was little. I was like obsessed with them. So this one is the Skyblaze Pony and um, this is her. She's very pretty. She's gold and she has like white on her. Let's see her a little bit better. I, I know that the like the camera quality isn't great but I don't feel like setting up my other camera. She has a blue bridle on, and um, most Lilith's Pet Shop toys, they all had like a little um, like gimmick. Um, each one kind of did a little movement. This one, um, she had an apple with a magnet in it, and she would like perk up when you put it near her. She came with a, she comes with a purple Western style saddle that comes off like that and then she has a little jewel right here which is the logo which is the paw print and it has like a crystal colored uh gem in there which they have in like a bezel setting and then they just like cut a hole out and stuck it in it's kind of like okay and um the purple saddle has silver detailing on it and then she they all came with like a little hair accessory and this one's like a oh this isn't the right one it's the same shape but hers is actually holographic this one is like not the right one. So we will be putting this one with the right one when it comes up. Uh, she also came with this silver bucket with green hay in it and they all came with a fence post which you could later join together and make a glorious pony corral which I did and this one is like a baby powder blue so they're all kind of like pastel -y colors. So that is the first one um, I found this really great website for all of the referencing that I'm using because I don't really know a lot about this stuff. Um, it's called uh, Vintage Lilith's Pet Shop Collector.com and it's really awesome so I'd suggest checking it out if you can. Uh, the next one is the most sassiest cat I have ever seen. It is this. I'll take her out. Um, it is the Royal Bombay Kitty with Kitty Throne. It is ridiculous. So, this is her. She's a little black cat with a gold, um, like, fancy cat collar. You know those cats that have, like, the fancy collars? And it has a, again, like, a crystal-colored, um, like, gem on her throat. And the, she comes with a crown. The crown comes off, and it has, like, a little ruby inside of it and then her thing is that she's on this like throne with the cup of food the crystal cup but her tongue goes back and forth when you move her little tail 
and then she has this whimsical tuft of hair that goes into a pearly queue. So that's her. Um, this was one of the first ones that I got, I believe. Um, she is also from 1994, and she's from the Sparkling Pets assortment, which the pony is also from, but she is from the pony variety. So there's that. Um, her accessories are this mystical crown with a key cut out in the back. It's very fancy, very ornate. Uh, there's like a quilting detailing on it. Um, she, I also have one of the other pets from this that you guys will be seeing. She has this gold tray that just goes onto like this little post that's right here and it comes in out and in. I remember getting very upset that I couldn't move it without it like coming up and like falling off. It was very finicky as a kid. And then of course it has this fancy feast-esque crystal-like dish for it with some sort of food in it that sits right there and then she sits here and then her tail can go through here so you can like wag her tail back and forth. So that is her and she is extremely sassy and probably one of my favorites and I don't even really like cats that much so that says something about her I guess. Um, yeah. Alright, so on to the next uh, pet. We're going to be doing three pets per video, I believe. I think I just, I think I said that already. So this one was part of the Zoo Nursery series, which I think she was part, or from uh, the Little's Pet Shop Zoo collection, but I could be wrong, but it's the, it is the Zoo collection, yeah. There was Little's Pet Shop, and then there was Little's Pet Shop Zoo, and then there was like the weird TV show one that came later, which I was a little bit too old when that started coming out that I wasn't really getting them anymore. So um, this one, I also have the complete set. There's three in this series and I have all of them. Um, the thing that I loved about the bigger ones is that they came in boxes and I have a box that um, I'll show you later on that I got at like a vintage like toy store and it was brand new in box. And um, the boxes are so pretty and they're so 90s and it's like one of the things that I love about toys from that time is just like the colors of them and I know that someone commented on my thing saying that they hate nostalgia but I also hate it but I also love it a lot so it's yeah okay so this one is the zoo baby tiger and it is from 1993 so I was pretty young when I got this unless they just kept selling them for like years afterwards but um here it is and she's in here and it also came with a cockatoo the thing that I really liked about this set the most when I was younger was that um, I was really into this book called Island of the Blue Dolphins and this for some reason reminded me of the main character's house that was in it. I, this is what I imagined when they talked about her house. So um, here is the little uh, tiger and she is like a kind of like a creamy beige color and she has gray stripes and like little white details and this curly cute tail and her thing is that when you press down her paw goes in so you can play with this like little ball thing like that you can't really see it but you get the idea ah. so yeah she comes in this and there's also a bucket of food but it's in there somewhere and it's not that interesting so um this and then they all came with like a little friend so this one was the cockatoo which i'm sure that the tiger would eat in real life and it has a little perch built in and then this part goes right in there so yeah that is the first part of toily toy tuesday for my my Lilith's pet shop vintage series that i'll be continuing so um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually, I haven't gone through this stuff for probably like five or six years. So this is kind of fun for me to get them out and like remember everything. I used to remember every single accessory that went with everything for years and years and years and I'm starting to forget it now. So um, this is kind of interesting to go back and kind of like look it up because I was pretty young when I had these toys. I was like probably like grade two to grade four or five that I was getting them until they stopped making them here. It was kind of like towards the end, 
I remember the zoo stuff getting really, that's kind of what they were focusing on. But anyways, so um, yeah, I hope you guys are liking, I hope you guys like this video. Um, subscribe to me, follow me on Instagram at 2 life and I will see you soon for my dance moms video. Okay, bye.